Hello, welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Snowpiercer. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. So Snowpiercer is a smaller film that's released both video on demand and in theaters. So since I know a lot of you may not know what it's about, I'll give a very short synopsis to start us off. So, Snowpiercer takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where all of humanity is on a single train that never stops and takes a full year to circle the globe. Basically, that's the premise. Um, we tried to fight global warming and instead it backfired and turned our globe into a giant ball of ice. I loved this movie. I thought it came with a clear issue that it wanted to target and it presented it in an exciting, eloquent, interesting way. It has a very strong social message that it carries throughout the entire film about socioeconomic class. And this time it's not really interlinked with race, as usually we do see it, such as The Purge, it is really uh, intertwined with race. Here it's not intertwined with that racial message as well, and I think that's because it comes from a Korean director, so he doesn't have all the social dynamic that an American director has, doesn't quite understand that dynamic for our audience. But it is still so impactful in how it depicts the way social class caste systems um, are set up. For one, it takes place on a train, and the train is a visual metaphor of the social system. You are literally separated by train cars based on your socioeconomic status. And if you're in that back, that back of that train, you're not allowed to come up. Period. Point blank. And I think what makes this so special is that not only does it set that up and you kind of go through the motions of what you normally see with these type of message films, it is really about a human story, I think. The way those people are treated in the back of that train is completely inhumane. And it goes further beyond what we've really seen in movies. I mean, it, it's really, really repulsive. Of course, I mean, we have seen this type of treatment before, and we've even seen it here on Earth, unfortunately, in real life throughout history. But it just, I mean, it's really devastating to watch. And I think as the movie goes on, our main character, who's played by Chris Evans, has layers peeled back from his persona that really delve more into that human aspect to what it's like being one of those second-rate citizens. Uh, basically not a human um, on this train. But I think it's so effective. For one, the grimy look works so well for the that back of that train and of course the look evolves because we do make our way up through the train throughout the film and it has different worlds and different levels type thing um, and I think it's really well done but the look lends itself really well the people lend themselves really well and they just I mean they sell it it's really inhumane what happens to these poor people at the back of this train and I think it brings up a lot of questions regarding human life and the quality of human life. Not only that we don't treat people like people anymore when we cast them to the bottom like that, but just the premise of the film completely taken out of context of this social commentary is what would life be like having to just live on a train? You can't leave this train. Is that a life worth living? And then it further explores that of, do I, do I want to live? If I have to live like this, maybe I'd rather die. Is my life worth it? Um, so I think it really delves into that, and I really appreciated that it pushed past just the normal socioeconomic whatever, um, that you're willing to, you know, risk your life or more to get out of this situation. That it's just, it's not worth it. Or maybe it is worth it. It's worth fighting for. So... I appreciated that. Another thing that it really hit home that a lot of other movies kind of hint at, but I think this one really makes apparent, is that it's all man-made and citizen-enforced as much it is, as it is, you know, law-enforced of keeping people where they are. You don't step out of line. You stay where you are. You were pre-described there. 
that's it, you're done. And I think this movie really does a great job of displaying that in a way that people can relate to and understand and see, again, visually throughout the film. So I just think the way that it demonstrated this social commentary it wanted to hit on was really strong, it was really impactful, and those are the types of movies I really love, is when you come away with a message like that and you're just like, wow. Um, these are the things I think in my head all the time, and now they're in an awesome action movie. So I loved it. I thought it was really well done. But as I said, it also looks pretty good for the most part. So I liked the different world, I liked the the grimy look, especially in the back of the train. I thought that was the most effective. But even as we move up, we, we are introduced into these grand places that takes you out of, oh, we're still on a train. But really, the actors are fantastic. Chris Evans delivers a wonderful performance here. I thought Tilda Swinton was amazing. She's unrecognizable, and she really, really lends herself to this almost caricature, but again, finds ways to inject humanity into it. I thought Octavia Spencer was really well, really strong in her role. Everybody was strong. We have other small cameo performances throughout um, that I'm not going to really spoil here, but I just thought the acting cast was great and they sold it. As I said, Chris Evans gives a wonderful speech and he really brings some depth to an otherwise could-be flatlined character. Having said that, I wasn't convinced with the outside world. We get to see it several times. They they open window. They don't open the window, but they open the blinds and look out the windows, and you get to see what this you know barren, icy wasteland is called Earth now. And I just it, it didn't look realistic to me at all. I mean, it was very I don't know. It didn't look that good to me. So while I thought everything on the inside of the train looked great. The visuals of that icy land on the outside I didn't think looked great, and every time they kind of showed it through the window, it was like, Meh, green screen, edit it in afterward, picture, like, it just, it didn't look realistic at all to me, so that took me out several times throughout the movie. Also, it can be a little bit hard to move past the implausibility of it all. So, it's real enough that this feels like our Earth. This is our Earth. It feels like this is, you know, again, not very likely that this will happen, but this is something that could happen. This takes place right here. We don't go off to another planet and that. And you feel that because of the performances, because of what they build on the inside. But the things they have on that train, wow. Uh, I don't know how, I don't remember off the top of my head how far off this is, but it must be very far off to fit. There's like an underwater aquarium on the inside, so there's just like you know, nightclubs, all this kind of crazy stuff, and I, you, I'm not going to go too much into that either because I think it's fun to reveal those layers, but I'm just like, wow, that, you know, there's no way that this is just a train, that you can fit all of this on a train. There's, a, there's no way that people can just live on a train for this film has them, has them there for 18 years so far, but your entire life now on a train. Um, so, I don't know, those implausibilities kind of have you have a drawback of, oh, fully buying into what you're seeing, but I think the social message is so strong and they keep you hooked with the action, with the moving presence throughout the film. I think there are a couple of dead spots where you may lose a little bit of interest. I know the people I watched it with seem to lose a little interest more than I did. I don't think they were as fully invested in that social message and commentary as I was, so uh, you might fall off the train a little bit throughout the film at a couple of parts, but I think it does a really strong job at pacing for the most part throughout the whole thing, so you stay into it. Overall, I really loved Snowpiercer. And I think it's something that we all should see. The Purge Anarchy is out right now, and I think it deals with a very similar issue, but in a completely different way. As I stated, this is available for you to watch, video on demand in your home, or if you can find it in a theater near you, go ahead and do that as well. I watched it on demand. It looked great on the screen. Definitely worth the price of just renting it on your TV. So that's been my review of Snowpiercer. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't be afraid to hit subscribe down below. And I love you so much for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye!